Hey guys, I'm in Croatia and this is the view from my balcony. And I'm here because of the diving. For this summer I've got a job in dive center as a dive master and <laughs> it's not because of the money, actually the payment is very low, but I really want to improve my skills so that I can join a lot of different organizations like ghost divers or sea shepherds and many others who do a lot of interesting projects underwater. It could be ghost nets removal, cleanups or their research is underwater or coral restorations. There are lots of possibilities. So yeah, I will spend my summer here and I will tell you about the experience of <laughs> uh, working in a dive center. The cool thing about rabbits is that you can spot a dolphin right here in a bay. So here's our office on all the sides, there are boxes for divers and here's like uh, storage, wetsuits, all kind of boots, BCDs, uh, fins, computers, masks, all the stuff. Here's like a small office and that's like a backstage area here, but it's only for stuff. And here's compressor room, that's all kind of tanks, so 15 liters, 12, 10, all sizes. And here's the compressors itself, they pump up air into the tanks, so yeah, like here. And the air we just get from outside, just right here. At first we have to prepare our own gear and then we have to assist the guests. We also give them a briefing explaining important details about the dive and the dive site. It's completely packed. I'm driving the electric vehicle uh, with the gear to the board where we unload it and put it inside the boat. Sometimes we can give a briefing right in the boat. Some of the days I just need to sit on a boat uh, just to help divers to go down. And yeah, then you just wait. So we are at the dive site Alina. It's a wreck. It's an old ship which sunk here. Yeah, and all the divers are like down there. You can see some bubbles. the working car uh, we use it to bring the divers to the spots and we are right now at Jirandello. it's a beach where we dive you can see a lot of nice things there like jellyfishes or octopuses and we've got these nice covers because after the day everyone is wet so that kind of helps a bit. I dive practically every day, usually I do one or two dives and uh, most of the time I'm guiding, so I'm a dive guide, so I take a group of divers who follow me underwater. I'm also responsible for them underwater. I need to check how much air they have, if they have some kind of problems, I have to assist them. So now I'm waiting for my group and I'm going down. I have to control ascending and make sure that no one have any problems going down. Like this guy. And here you can see that I'm leading the group underwater with five divers. For safety everyone is divided in pairs. It's called body system. 
here giving instruction to this woman to add more air into her BCD, otherwise she's going down too fast. Okay, come here and then take off your fins. Or there is, for example, tri dives. The people who never tried diving before and I have to do it with them. So I'm totally responsible for them underwater. I have to hold them with one hand and regulate their buoyancy and stuff with the other. And uh, yeah, that's an interesting experience. So it's very helpful to have this experience uh, because later I can use it for volunteering and uh, yeah, I already face so many <laughs> different situations so you become more and more confident underwater. Not all of the days are bright and sunny. Sometimes getting to the dive spot is quite challenging. Another issue is the rubbish underwater. Like every time I dive, I get out some kind of trash and it's like bottles, cans, and also abandoned nets and uh, crab cages, which still catch the fish underwater. So yeah, and it's quite sad. <laughs> Here underwater is quite a lot of plastic, cans, bottles and fishing lines. And here is the crab cage. I managed to remove a few of them. And here are the ghost nets. It's quite few of them here and it's the most ugly and terrible thing you can see underwater because it still catch fish and other marine life. Whenever I see one I just cannot pass it. I have to take it out. Each time I dive I got some plastic out so my pockets are full with lines and the thing is if you don't take it the plastic become microplastic has become a huge problem so as we put here it's like a recycling bin and I can throw it straight away yeah there's some more so many things like a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> this place in Croatia is very similar to Spain, where I was living and actually learned diving. Uh, it's uh, the same Mediterranean Sea, underwater environment, almost the same, like all the vegetation, all the uh, fish, uh, all kinds of fish and um, marine animals, pretty much the same. But in Spain, it's like 10 times more of wildlife underwater. The place I used to live is Astarte and uh, there is Islas Medes, a very popular uh, dive spot. And the thing is, it's a natural park and protected area. So every time you can see a lot of fish underwater, like huge uh, skulls of uh, barracudas or really, really large groupers, many octopuses and eels and what's not. Like really, really, you can see the wildlife in abundance. And here, when the condition is the same, water the same, temperature the same, you can see way less. It's like 
the area is super overfished to be honest of course sometimes you can spot some schools of fish now and there but generally it's very deserted and um, yeah overfishing is quite a problem here because we also do night dives during the night and um, we can see how many fishing boats are there sometimes they even put nets on the dive sites uh, during the day because I have a place to compare I can see a huge difference and what uh, protected area and uh, marine parks are making so I think we need more and more of those to be implemented to restore the wildlife in the start it, commercial fishing is forbidden also they limit the amount of boats and divers who can go and visit the island area and this marine park and it really helps it's yeah I would say it's like a day and night difference but of course nature is amazing here too beautiful caves and pastures crystal clear water and I will show you a couple of incredible creatures I've met here I've been running, Looking for sunset, digging deep since 99. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go. Thank you for watching this video, it's already September and I finished my job in the dive center. During the summer I did about 100 dives, I cleaned a lot of rubbish underwater, I also have seen how people panic underwater and I know how to assist them and how to handle all kinds of different situations. So now I'm gonna look for other volunteering projects to apply my skills. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next videos.